when people always get on Zlatan or they get on Cristiano and they say he's arrogant and cocky, I come back and I say they deserve to be. You know how much work they've put in to get where they are, right. what they've gone through? Right. The more accountability you take upon yourself, the more successful you'll be. The best way to continue to be disciplined and follow along the path is we were out with uh, two girls, they were actually Swedish, and they said they don't like Zlatan. I said, I'm ready to leave this dinner right now. <laughs> that also forgets so we don't always have like a clear um, memory of how certain things went mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. but if you have like you know notes or if you have like some type of like like you said like some type of list that you know this person and this people or just list of people have this place in my life or in mm -hmm. my career mm -hmm. If you have a list, that's already a lot, you know, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, you kind of want to, you kind of want to, yeah, show that this list of people, you guys were wrong, you know, but that shouldn't be the priority. Of course. The priority needs to be prove yourself right. That's the priority. Because like, if, if that, that's also self-belief, it's, you're, you're putting your mental state and you're, you're manifesting it physically. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's. That's real stuff, you know, because like this could also be a reality, right? You're proving someone wrong on this list. Maybe they don't care. Mm. Maybe they're like, well, okay, I made a decision 20 years ago or 10 years ago when you were five and or even you're 10. Now you're a pro footballer. Now I'm out of football. Yeah, yeah, I don't really yeah, care yeah. if you made it or not, yeah, you know, yeah. and that shouldn't be your motivation to prove sure. someone wrong. It, and it, and it, it can be. Yeah. But it should be the priority. Different source. Yes, exactly. And. The more accountability you take upon yourself, um, the, the, your longevity, or I guess like throughout your career, the more successful you'll be. And Absolutely. that's my opinion. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just, just to touch on to that, you know, you know, I, I fully believe what you said, the best way to continue to be disciplined and follow along the path is continue to look yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. being proud of yourself yeah. and oh, continuing right. to prove yourself right. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. a good point because yeah. a lot of people self doubt, and yeah. not it's, it's not just along the the belief. It's you know there's this like Instagram video that I saw on on it was a reel, mm. um, and people kind of took it with like humor and it was about Snoop Dogg, mm. um, and I I don't remember exactly so I don't want to quote it word for word and I don't want to quote the situation mm. but basically what the reel was. Snoop Dogg opened something, some type of, I think it was some type of real estate, something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a that store. That guy's in everything. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it was a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was like, you know, um, I, I, I'm not sure. But basically there was an award ceremony or I guess like this inauguration or something of that sort. There was a mm -hmm. celebration that Snoop Dogg went and, and, and presented a speech. And basically he went up there on stage and... Uh, he thanked himself. Mm. He said, like, you know, he, he obviously listed people he thanked. And then he said, last but not least, and probably most importantly, I want to thank me. And I want to thank myself for getting up every day. I want to thank myself for working hard every day. I want to thank myself for believing in me and not letting getting people in my way. I want to thank myself for being, you know, all of those things, right, that we mm -hmm. talked about. And mm -hmm. I think that's super important. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. And, and not even in an arrogant way. It's mm -hmm. more in a, I guess, more more in a self-aware and self-confidence way. And mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's there needs to be more of that. And, and obviously not make that egotistic. Yeah. Like, of yeah. course, there's a yeah. fine line between, yeah. you know, being arrogant and being self-aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that to cross like exactly. you, you don't want that gray zone like you want to be clear that look i'm i'm proud of myself yeah you know i'm doing this for me and i'm i'm proud of what i'm doing absolutely you know? absolutely i mean i think that's an excellent point you bring up and and, and you know I, I think the reason people don't do that is because they don't want to sound arrogant they don't want to sound cocky but for me if you put in the work every single day you're consistent you should be proud of yourself and you should be able to pat yourself on the back in private and in public without yeah. being called arrogant and cocky. Sure. And that's why when people always get on Zlatan or they get on Cristiano and they say he's arrogant and cocky, I come back and I say they deserve to be. Yeah. You know how much work they've been they've yeah. put in to get where they are, right. what they've gone through? Right. And honestly, you know, 
to the people who've said that to me, when they say that, I don't respect them anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in uh, Croatia. I was with a buddy. Without we were out with uh, two girls. They were actually Swedish, and they said they don't like Zlatan. Hmm. I said I'm ready to leave this dinner right now. <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, you know, if you don't respect someone's hard work, wow. like for me, like it's the same thing on, on social media. Like some people are like, like, dude, do you get pissed when people comment negatively on your post or this and that? And I've just gotten to the point where I don't look at it anymore. Right. But for me. As a person that I think I'm a very hard worker and yeah. I'm consistent and, and I do all the right, you know, I don't do all the right things, but I do 80% of the things that are right every day. I would never go on someone's post who's trying to put out good energy right. and yeah. positive energy into a post and, and comment yeah. negatively. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because for me, that's a reflection of yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, being able to be proud of yourself when your head hits the pillow is massive and and those days add up and it leads to the self-belief and confidence we're talking about for sure